Okay, so the first thing we got here is this right here. This normally means when you place this on the staff that it means to repeat the previous measure. Um, if it's on this line here, it normally means to repeat the previous last two measures. Um, this software won't do that that I've been able to find, but that's basic, the basic meaning of what that means to do. All right, this right here, um, 8 the and 8 VB, um, if you were to place it on this note, it would, uh, this 8 va, it would tell them to play that note one octave higher. If you put that 8 VB on that note, it'll tell them to play it one octave lower. And 15 MA and 15 VMB are the same thing, two, but two octaves higher and two octaves lower. And that's that thing. These here are Volta brackets. Um, basic, the basic understanding of them, sometimes I've seen them used in confusing ways. So basically, normally what it means to me is that there is, um, you can have different possible endings. That means it'll be on here somewhere towards the end of it, and it'll be a phrase towards the end or a set number of measures, and it'll have, you know, a second one of these on here to actually denote a, a second possible ending. Or if it's getting repeated, um, it'll go to the end, you know, and then it'll be, that'll be the first ending. And then, but the song is getting repeated from some point and then it'll come back to it and it'll have a second ending of how you're supposed to end it the second time. And normally it's about that simple. All right, DC Alcoda, DC Alfin basically is really um, a, a capo did it, it basically the real simple understanding is it's telling you to go back to the beginning of the song and either play to where it says fin or play to where the coda is which would be this sign here and then jump forward in the music mean continue from there normally and it's that simple all right the ds al coda or the ds al fin that basically uh, if DS Alcoda uh, is going to be, you want to, when you reach this to this point and it says this, that you want to go back in the music, back in the measures to where you see this sign here, this Segno sign, and then play from there. And it'll either be DS Alfin, which means, you know, go back to that part and then play to the end, or it'll be DS Alcoda and repeat that part, like let's say you see that here. And it tells you to go back. So you have that sign here. And then you've got the coda sign that is this here. It's telling you to go back to there, play to that point, and then jump forward to where you went back and to repeat from to begin with, and then play forward from then. Or play through the whole thing if it's DS Alfin. Um, I hope that was real simple to understand. I got confused by that a few times. All right, so I hope that addressed the very basics. There are lots of other things that we can address. Um, one of the things would be tuplets. Um, sextuplets, octuplets, nontuplets, triplets, duplets. Um, I expect you to Google those and just kind of take a look at those. Um, you probably, it won't be that difficult for you to understand, So, it, but I'd like you to read that yourself so that you can have a little bit better understanding with this and make notes of them so that when you're looking at them that they make, you know, a little bit more sense to you than me just trying to state it. Um, and basically that's kind of, you know, what we wanted to look at. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is actually this um, piece of software. Um, this piece of software is really great for you just learning on, and, you know, and it's got a really good forum. So, you know, if you have questions, and you've Googled the things we've talked about and it's, you don't get enough definitive an answer, go to their forum, you know, um, and, and you're more likely to get some really straight answers for them. If you, uh, if you don't want to Google me or, talk, or send me an email that you can just jump right on their forum and, and get some real simple answers. So I hope I laid that out basically for you so that you have a real basic understanding of the notations and and if he didn't completely understand anything that you can Google it or look around a little bit, and, and, and at least your question is much finer targeted for whatever you're trying to do. Because the notation can get very complex. I mean, it just really can, but I just wanted to address the basics for the thing we we're talking about in the studio. Um, sometimes that can get very complex and you might run into some very complex notations and some very complex issues in notation. So um, you're going to take that as far as you need it for your production and what you're doing. 
but at least if you have those basic understandings that you should be able to get through most of it with that basic knowledge. So I certainly hope you had fun in MuseScore or whatever notation software you have and, and addressing those, those concepts and those ideas. And, and we're going on to the next video that's going to address some just very basic things and then we're going to have an overview.